The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 16, verses 13 to 23. When Jesus came to the region of Caesarea Philippi, he put this question to his disciples. Who do people say the Son of Man is? And what they said, some say he is John the Baptist, some Elijah, and others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. But you, he said, who do you say I am? Then Simon Peter spoke up. You are the Christ, he said the Son of the living God. Jesus replied, Simon, son of Jonah, you are a happy man. Because it was not flesh and blood that revealed this to you, but my Father in heaven. So I now say to you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church and the gates of the underworld can never hold out against it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be considered bound in heaven. Whatever you lose on earth shall be considered loosed in heaven. Then he gave the disciples strict orders not to tell anyone that he was the Christ. From that time, Jesus began to make it clear to his disciples that he was destined to go to Jerusalem and suffer grievously at the hands of the elders and chief priests and scribes, to be put to death and to be raised up on the third day. Then taking him aside, Peter started to remonstrate with him. Heaven preserve you, Lord, he said. This must not happen to you. But he turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You are an obstacle in my path, because the way you think is not God's way, but man's. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, the Lord is asking us to renew the covenant as in Jeremiah chapter 31, verses 31 to 34. God promises a new covenant different from the old one, which was broken. This new covenant will be written on our hearts and God will forgive our sins. It will be a covenant of intimacy and knowledge where God will be our God and we will be his people. In the Gospel reading in Matthew chapter 16, verses 13 to 23, Peter's confession and the keys to the kingdom is the main theme in this reading. After Jesus has asked Peter and other disciples, Peter confesses him as the Messiah. Jesus gives Peter the keys to the kingdom, symbolizing his role in the church. Jesus also teaches about the cost of discipleship, warning that he will suffer and die. Today we celebrate the memorial of Saint Dominic, 
a passionate preacher and founder of the Dominicans, lived out the values of today's readings. He sought to internalize God's law and share it with others through his preaching, just like the new covenant promised in Jeremiah. In Matthew, we see Peter's confession of Jesus as the Messiah and his role in the church. St. Dominic too prayed a key role in the church, founding the Dominicans to preach and teach the truth of the gospel. He also faced persecution and challenges, just like Jesus warned about the cost of discipleship. Let us make a prayer to Jesus at this moment. Dear Lord, inspire me with the zeal of St. Dominic to share your gospel and live according to your law. Help me to confess you as my Messiah and to play my part in your kingdom. Give me the courage to face challenges and persecution knowing that you will be with me always. Let us ask some questions to ourselves. How can I deepen my understanding of God's law and write it on my heart? In what ways can I confess Jesus as my Messiah and share him with others? How can I embody St. Dominic's role in the church? Teaching, preaching the truth of the gospel? What challenges and persecutions am I facing? And how can I find the courage to overcome them? Amen.